My name's Mark Johnson. I'm going to talk about um, a new approach to thinking about competency uh, using text mining. When we think about competency, there are some fundamental questions that we have to ask. First of all, there's the problem of codification. How do we codify the competence of somebody such that reliable judgments may be made by others? That's the fundamental question of competency. Secondly, how can we help learners identify the competencies they need to develop? And finally, how can we help employers identify the competencies in their organisations or the competencies they need so as to realise their benefit? Currently, we have a taxonomic approach to competency. There's been enormous efforts in creating taxonomies of competencies, but there are four problems associated with this. First of all, there's an authorship problem. Who are the experts that decide the taxonomy? Then there's an interpretation problem. How do you ensure that there's universal interpretation of competencies? The author might decide it means one thing, and someone else might decide it means something else. Then there's a search problem. Large taxonomies create problems in finding the right competency. Anybody who's used competency tools will know about this. And then there's the morphogenesis problem. The world keeps changing. How do you keep up to date? Do you have bureaucratic committees that determine competency? Is text mining a way forwards? Well, it may be. Because rather than label evidence with taxonomic competencies, text mining emerges themes from extant evidence. So you can have documents and uh, things that you've done and you can use text mining to say well these are the themes that emerge from it. Now there are still problems because there's a problem of consistency because if you emerge themes you can't compare one person with another and secondly there may still be a problem of interpretation. The trailer project has given us an opportunity to examine the relationship between statements of competency that people make and the evidence that they produce for supporting those statements. Now, when we look at individual statements, we can actually create much richer bodies of text by using the internet. So, for example, a competency statement has many, many documents and many bits of text that we can grab from Google, for example, and any piece of evidence can also be elaborated with text relating to the, the basic contents of that evidence or extra resources that are rela related to it. When we can build big corpuses of text, we can then use a technique called topic modeling to identify the themes that come out of those corpuses. Topic modeling is a technique which regards documents as relations of topics which can, which can be algorithmically generated. A competency corpus and an evidence corpus, which can be generated from the internet, will contain a distribution of topics. We can look at the distribution of topics between the two corpuses and the similarities of the distribution can be an index of or a measure of either the appropriateness of a competency label to the evidence or the shallowness of associating a competency with evidence, so you're not saying anything, or it can be an indication of some sort of deeper imaginative connection that you're making. I've tried to represent this diagrammatically here so that the two cones, um, basically there is a statement. The statement is a word, something very small, and then as the cone expands that's the mind um, text that you can get from that particular statement. And you can do this both with competency statements and with resources. Resources can be expanded too. And so we're moving these cones um, against one another and as we change their relative um, over uh, relative height the overlapping changes as well now basically moving the height is increasing the richness or increasing the depth of the um, text mining operation that we're doing and the sort of focus of the particular topics that we're looking at so a recursive process of generating corpuses based on emergent topics in both evidence and competency can reveal the depth at which matches may be made. If there's an instant match, it would indicate that very little information is revealed by the association of competency with evidence. We saw this a lot in trailer. 
A deeper match would indicate that more substance to the information being revealed by associating the competency and evidence, and we can establish some sort of metric of competency stroke evidence which can show the, the level of recursion at which the, the matching takes place. Now we've done some experiments with R. Um, R has a package which um, integrates with a tool called Mallet. Mallet's a Java-based text mining tool and specifically designed for topic, topic modeling. And we're basically creating an interface. We haven't quite finished it yet, but we're creating an interface which is going to ask, what do you think you're good at? And um, what sort of evidence can you produce for it? So you can say, for example, I'm a good communicator, and you might have evidential documents with written reports, PowerPoint presentations, emails, and learning resources, for example. OK, so I'm going to talk you through a very uh, basic example. Um, uh, we're creating an interface for this um, tool at the moment using the Shiny package in R, um, which will do something like this. So it will ask you, what are you good at? And it will ask you to point to a resource. Um, and this is very similar to what Trailer did. But basically, on submitting this, I'm now going to jump out and just show you what the R code using topic modeling will do. So basically it's looking at corpuses which are based on uh, on the one hand organization and on the other on the resource that I've selected which is my blog. And um, what I get is a matching of topics which have been identified. These are the topics the topics which have been identified in each of these resources and I can compare the matching between the two the topics and the um, resources and in this particular case there isn't a terribly good match in that first instance so I'm now going to choose one of the topics that's come through that first iteration and um, see whether drilling into one of those topics actually gives me a better match so what I'm showing here are the uh, different levels of matching uh, with different topics, um, but each iteration produces a new set of topics to compare. And what I'm actually comparing, the evidence that I'm using, which is in the right-hand column, is my blog. And on the left-hand column, the, um, the corpus is basically derived from whatever um, competency statement or topic about a competency statement that we're, we're trying to match with. In each of these cases um, the, the matching isn't, isn't great and um, this may say something about what I've, tr I've tried to do is do a match on um, using my blog as evidence of my organization skills which if anybody kno who knows me will know that that's probably uh, slightly futile. Um, but um, what I've the iterations I've used are based on where the best matches are at each level. So, um, for example, it, it gradually it starts with organization, then moves on to uh, control because control comes up as a common theme, and then it moves on to um, economics because economics comes up as a theme. So I've had to rush over things quite a bit, but just to uh, conclude with the implications of this. We can create tools where people can play with competency statements and evidence. We can allow people to explore what they think they're good at and to compare what they think they're good at with the emerging topics from the bodies of evidence that they uh, present for analysis. The tools can help create defensible pairings between statements of competency and supporting evidence documents. Um, these are defensible because the matches between them are reproducible. They're not open to um, subjective judgment. These are algorithmically created pairings. There can be consistency in this process because this isn't about individual statements. It isn't about individual competency statements, but it's an about patterns of matching between statements and documents and between collections of statement document pairs. As I add new documents and make new competency statements, then the profile becomes richer and richer. I think in conclusion, I, there is a strong case to be made to say that text mining may free us from taxonomies because it allows us to look at deeper pattern matches which are indicative of more, of more authentic skills 
and also the authentic needs of organisations. Um, when organisations are searching for people who are creative and imaginative, and not just people who tick boxes with a skill X or skill Y, these richer uh, techniques may be much more appropriate and also actually in many ways more liberating.